My first experiments using the remote commander for the Vixia were disappointing. Infrared controllers do poorly in bright daylight environments and require a fairly accurate point of aim. This was difficult to achieve while flying PPG. Your camera is like one of the many Vixia models with the IR sensor next to the screen. You'll need an LCD hood like the one shown in my first tutorial. You'll also need two Toslink couplers, a length fiber optic Toslink cable, and a small piece of plastic, one inch by four inch, cut from a VHS tape box. So workaround for the HV series Vixia is another camera with the IR sensor at the front using a metal plate near tripod quick release plate which I'll explain at the end of this video. Using epoxy, cement the plastic strip to the back of the remote. Be sure to leave enough room so that you can subsequently access the battery compartment when you need to. I used a Dremel tool and a file to make the coupler better conform to the curved front of the remote. When lying flat, the center hole is almost perfectly aligned with the light. Then I just epoxied the coupler to the rigid strip of plastic, and this part of the project was done. If you like, you can fill the gap between the sensor and the remote with JV Weld. Note the remote will continue to work as before without the optical cables installed. The final step is to attach the second coupler to the LCD hood itself. Because I'm using this IR interface for aviation photography, I'm going to epoxy and safety wire the coupling to the LCD hood. Drill four small holes, use the Dremel tool to groove the coupling on three sides, then a little bit of JB Weld to smooth it out. Then some touch-up paint, and the project is done. Here's the finished project with an 18-inch Toslink fiber optic cable picked up for about $3 on eBay. The Toslink connectors themselves were about a dollar each, bringing the whole project in at about $5. The 18-inch cable is a good length for mounting your controller to a tripod. I use a meter-length 39-inch cable with this boom mount while flying PPG. If you use a Sony or one of the Vixias with its sensor to the front, here is the workaround. Cut a piece of metal to conform with the footprint of your camera and about three quarter inch longer in length. Drill holes for the one quarter twenty tripod screw and another for the detent pin and the tripod quick release plate. I trimmed out a piece from an old DVD drive. Then simply epoxy the coupler in front of the sensor and wire it from the front. Okay, that's everything. These remotes work very well when optimized. Zooms are smooth and stable. You can take individual snapshots when desired and the on-off is 100% reliable.